Hello friends, everyone in the office doesn't do the same job, right? Same way, not every cell in our body performs the same job. Cells also work in teams to carry out a particular job. So, let us get introduced to different teams of cells, that is the various tissues in our body. Our skin protects our body like a sheet. Same way, there are protective layers on almost every organ from stomach to kidney. Most of the organs have their own protective sheet of cells. This protective layer is made of tightly packed group of cells. These cells are so tightly packed that there is almost no space between the cells. This protective layer is epithelial tissue or epithelium in short. The important thing to note here is epithelium is singular. When we talk of a single epithelial tissue, we say epithelium. But when we talk of many tissues, we say epithelia. So remember, epithelium is singular, while epithelia is the plural of epithelium. The skin, the lining of mouth, the lining of blood vessels, alveoli, that is the tiny sacs in the lungs and kidney tubules etc are all made of epithelial tissue. Anything entering our body has to go through at least one layer of epithelial tissue before it gets used. So epithelial cells play an important role in regulating the exchange of materials between the body and the external environment and also between the different parts of the body. Now, epithelial tissue is separated from the tissues it is protecting by a fibrous basement membrane. But not all epithelial tissues are the same. For example, in the lining of blood vessels or the lung alveoli, where heavy exchange of substances occur, but for very few selected materials only, there is a flat kind of epithelium. This is called the simple squamous epithelium. It is very flat, thin and delicate layer. The esophagus and the lining of the mouth are also covered with the squamous epithelium. Our skin is also made of squamous epithelium but our skin has many layers of this tissue for better protection and to prevent us from wear and tear. These tissues are arranged in a pattern of layers and this type of epithelium is called stratified squamous epithelium. Where absorption and secretion occur, as in the case of inner lining of the intestine, tall column or pillar-like epithelial cells are present. This columnar epithelium actually facilitates movement across the epithelial barrier. In the respiratory tract, the columnar epithelial tissue also has cilia which are hair-like structures. These cilia move and push mucus forward to clear it. So, we can call it ciliated columnar epithelium. The other type of epithelium is cuboidal epithelium which forms the lining of kidney tubules, ducts of salivary glands, etc. They have cube-like cells and they provide mechanical support. You know, epithelium not only protects organs, epithelial cells often acquire special ability to produce and secrete some substances. Sometimes, a portion of epithelial tissue folds inward and a multicellular gland is formed. This is glandular epithelium. Such glands secrete many important substances like Epithelium of intestine secretes enzymes. Thus, epithelium is not just a protective layer. It plays many other important roles too. So to reiterate what we learned today, the covering or the protective tissues in the animal bodies are epithelial tissues or epithelia. The epithelial tissues are of different types like the squamous epithelium, it consists of a single layer of irregular, thin, flattened cells and these are found in the lining of a mouth. The second type is cuboidal epithelium. It consists of a single layer of cube-like cells and it is found in kidney tubules and in the ducts of salivary glands. The third type is columnar epithelium. It consists of single layer of tall and slender cells 
and it can be found in the inner lining of the small intestine. The fourth type is glandular epithelium. These epithelial cells fold inwards and form multicellular glands. And also remember, when the squamous tissues are multilayered, as in the case of our skin, it is called stratified squamous epithelium. Also, when the columnar epithelium has cilia, that is the hair-like structure, it is called ciliated columnar epithelium. We shall learn about other teams of cells who do many other types of work in our body office in the next class. Till then, bye-bye.